Welcome, welcome to BeMoreNews.com. Mia Jones, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. What's happening this week? So Hanging this out with week, sister. Mama Charlotte, yeah, she's come all the way from Tanzania on a Hilden community tour. I'm trying to raise money for the United African Alliance Community Center over there. It's a wonderful place. I was able to visit. And um, so Thursday, right. we're going to be doing um, a film screening of a movie that she's featured in, Niwa Kati. Uh, it's going to be at 2640, right there, 2640 St. Paul Street. So it should be really nice. It's about uh, hip hop in Africa and the new generation and, and how they're embodying the principles of the Black Panther Party. So it'll be really What do you know exciting. about that? What do I know about the Black Panther Party? Yeah. I've been fortunate enough in my young age to meet and talk to a few Black Panthers, including Mama C. But um, one thing that really attracts me to the party is they had a real clear plan for community building. And they focused on all parts of the community that affect us, you know, their free food programs and all that. And I think, especially for my generation, not only my generation, but there's a lot of misconceptions about what they did and what they stood for, and everybody just thought they was about uh, they were about violence. And I thought it were, was more about breakfast programs, education, after school programs, and protecting people exactly, from abuse, being exactly. abused by people who were abusive with their power. Right, and I think that we need to know more about that, especially now when you know money is being taken away from public programs. We have to understand that people in our community had those programs before the government gave it to us. If it weren't for them doing it, the government would have done it at all. And what the government was giving us wasn't even healthy for us. So it's time for us to take it back in our hands. And if we- Oh, there you go talking that, there you go talking that <laughs> radical stuff. Uh, ladies, radical it's, it's, is it's, taking care of yourself. Late, it's, hey. it's, it's 2011, <laughs> we're not for all of this revolution and Black Panthers, <laughs> lady, I'm just trying to get a paycheck and a 503 uh, or 501 k and benefits. <laughs> why all of this stuff about Panthers and consciousness and why? I'm just talking about a community taking care of themselves and their community. You know, I don't think that's such a radical idea. It's unfortunate that it's considered such a radical idea. Everybody else does it. We've done it in the past. We do it now. We have to. We don't have. We don't have. You know, so many resources available. So we have to create it for ourselves. But that, you know, that's what I. Okay, know. I just got one question because yeah. I know Mama C's waiting on you. No, I gotta I go back in. Okay, the, the, just about in terms of the hip hop generation. Yeah. Why is it important that they understand about Mama C, about the Black Panthers, uh, about a thorough understanding of our history? Well, it wouldn't be our generation wouldn't exist if it weren't for them and what they contribute. If it weren't for the Panthers, if it weren't for the Black Arts Movement, there would be no movement from our community to try to tell the truth through these forms. And unfortunately, you know, it's been appropriated in a way that represents what they were against. You know, it represents capitalism and misogyny and all that kind of stuff. So we have to kind of reconnect and we have to understand what really happened. Are you, are you proud of Africa? Yeah. You proud to be African? Yes, I'm proud. Good for you. Yes, How that's why I'm working with Habisha. So Habisha is actually going to be vending items at the event on Thursday. So they're going to be there and fully present. So you will be supporting um, young people going, trying to go back to Africa and, and really see for themselves where they, they came from and their people come from and to be proud of it. Okay, let's get the details again. So that is Thursday, May 5th at 2640, 2640 St. Paul. Uh, we're showing Niwakati. Okay. Yep, and, and we're having more a performance by Precise Science. On Thursday. On Thursday. And for more information, people can... They can email me at mjones, mjones81287 at gmail.com. One more time. mjones81287 at gmail.com. Good deal. Thank you for your yep. time. Keep Thank watching you. bemorenews.com, the news before the news. All right. Where we uncover the truth. Appreciate it.